What's going on guys, today I've got the Xiaomi Mi 10 Lite 5G here and this is our one week later review so we're going to do a little bit of a geek benchmark test, some mobile gaming, some camera tests for you and basically show you what this phone can do and we'll also provide you with my personal opinion as I've had this phone now, I've been playing around with it on and off for about a week now so I'll tell you my personal opinion on the phone at the end of the video. To begin with, I think this phone is basically a very, very, very good phone for the price. For £279, you're getting an incredible device with some great groundbreaking specs. You know, it's up there with some even flagships currently, but for a much lower price. So you're getting a great phone, great design, and overall very good specs for your price. Some of the things I would say stand out to me is that AMOLED display and that 48 megapixel camera on the back. So you can get some absolutely cracking photos and you'll be able to see them in a great overall display. You've got an all right battery size as well with a 4,160 mile, which would definitely keep you going. Now, something I would say I was fairly surprised with is the fact that this phone charges super, super quick. Now, I'll just say that just before this video, this phone was pretty Pretty low on charge been messing about with it just some final tweaks some final comments and i did notice that it suddenly had two percent battery now we were worried because we're like oh god we're gonna run out of time but i plugged it in and now you'll be able to see at the top here it's already at 39 percent and that was extremely quick i would say 15 minutes or so and it was bang up to 40 percent almost so incredible charging times and incredible battery for the price as well that's enough of the specs i did do more of a spec breakdown in the first video if you want to see that that'll be linked in the description below you can check that out this video is more about the Geekbench scores and the gaming capabilities, just so you guys can see what that actually is. Now, we were going to do an Antutu benchmark, but unfortunately, Antutu is not available on the Google Play Store anymore. So we have to go to Geekbench 5, which is a very good supplement, and I would say a very good substitute for that as well, and does provide you with a very good score. And it also does provide you with a very good breakdown. So, you know, it's a similar application there, similar results, which is slightly different. And it's something that you see on websites such as DSM Arena. You can see the Geekbench breakdowns there as well. So what we're going to do straight away is jump straight to that Geekbench for you and we'll see what the score is. So here we have it guys, you've got a 612 single core score there and a 1936 multi-core score. Now you can see a sort of breakdown in here, you can see it compared to the other devices here and you can see there are other scores here as well, as well as a multi-core score. If we go onto the result though, as you scroll down, you can see some information about obviously the memory information, your text compression, image compression, and all this stuff. This is basically all your information here. There's your scores. I'd pause the video if you want to see any of this now. We're going to move on though to the gaming aspect of this. Now we have installed Call of Duty Mobile and that is because some people want to see some more high performance games, some more demanding games on this device. Now this device isn't strictly a gaming device but it does have a fast Snapdragon processor so it should be pretty good at gaming and it also has that AMOLED display so it should be pretty good and I guess we'll find out. From my experience Experience with some games on this. I did reset this phone before this video, but I did was playing some games, some less demanding than Call of Duty Mobile, and I didn't see any frame drops or any lag or any color issues. I didn't have any color issues at all. I think the display looks great. But I haven't yet played Call of Duty Mobile on this device, so I'm excited to see this as, as I said, it is a more demanding game. We'll jump into some actual gameplay now, just so you can see how it handles a more intense scenario with some other online players. So we'll jump into multiplayer and see what we we can do. We win. Now, obviously, guys, our internet here isn't great, unfortunately, so there was a little bit of latency lag there. However, that isn't the phone's fault. We are getting a bit poor internet service currently at our office here, so I would apologize for that. But what you can see there within the game was little to no frame loss 
or actual game lag. And also you can see the colors are very accurate within the game. So in general, the phone itself is displaying properly and doing a very good job at handling these high performance games. Now I would say obviously the latency is our problem. At our office currently we have poor internet connection just today. I and mean, that's because there's some work going on. In general, the phone is very good and the actual frame rate is extremely high and refresh rate is, is you know, very good there, along with the colors. So in general, the phone performs very well, as you can see in that little gaming snippet there. Now, the final thing that we're gonna do quickly is show you a few camera tests and show you what the camera can actually do. As I said, it has got a 48 megapixel back camera on this here, and it does have a 16 megapixel selfie camera, so we'll show you a little bit of both there and show you what the camera can do. And as I said, I was pretty impressed with it. You know, there are better cameras in the market currently. I think Xiaomi have just announced that they've got a 108 megapixel camera coming on one of their new flagship phones. So the 48 megapixel camera is amongst one of the smaller sizes of cameras, however, this camera Camera processing is extremely good and in my opinion one of the better 48 megapixel cameras there are out there yeah we'll show you a few of it now and let us know what you think about it So in general, I'm actually very impressed with this phone. And my honest opinion is this phone is a solid 8.5 out of 10. We are gonna compare this to a Realme X50 because people have been saying these phones are very similar. And obviously the Xiaomi Realme competition is very high. Both being 5G phones, you know, I think it's a good comparison to do. Overall though, I am very impressed. Some of the main standout features, as I said, is that AMOLED display, that 48 megapixel high performing camera, and the fact that it has a fast charger. Now I wasn't gonna include the fast charging point because in general, it has only got a 20 watt charger, which which is fairly slow in terms of phones currently obviously you see realme coming out with these 35 watt 50 watt chargers you get xiaomi as i said have released another charger i think this week that is 80 watts so you have very big chargers sort of pushing it forward so 20 watt is one of the smaller size chargers however i would say that once that fast charging is enabled on this device it seems to charge super super quick so i don't know what sort of sorcery is going on there but the charging is extremely impressive so those are the main factors i would say that have sort of impressed me the charging one not one that i expect however you know it's performed really really well so thank you guys very much for watching this video as i said we do have that comparison coming out very soon if you want to see that it'll be linked in the description below once we have it uploaded if you want to see the our first unboxing of this device that will also be linked in the description because we have already done one on our other channel thank you guys very much for watching it if you have any questions about this device please leave them in the comments below if you want to buy this device it will be linked below on our ephones.com website where you can buy it right now so thank you guys very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video